Hi guys, welcome to today's session. Thank you all for your responses on yesterday. And our yesterday's quiz question was, which state is the leading producer of onion in India? And it is Maharashtra only. So we will move to today's session. First question for the day, Thousand Springs Initiative, often seen in the news, is related to option A, horticulture promotion, option B, counter-terrorism initiative, Option C, protection of national parks and option D, GIS based atlas. So the correct answer here is option D, GIS based atlas. Guys, let's understand what is a spring. It is a water body that is formed as a result of water flowing to the earth's surface from an aquifer. The formation of a spring is usually, see this illustration. The surface of the soil is usually covered by thin layers of soil and underneath that various different layers of rock lies and these rocks are sometimes impermeable that is water cannot go through them and at some part it is permeable. See the grey lines here in the illustration are rocks. So what happens is in these layers of rocks which are permeable water seeps through the rock until it reaches a layer of clay. And once it reaches that clay, it cannot go further. Then the water from the elevated water table flows to the low-lying earth surface, there to following the law of gravity only. And this water falls out until it comes through a land surface. And at that point, you will see a spring. And this spring can be used as a source of water for domestic use, electricity generation, fish hatcheries, irrigation, swimming etc. And some springs have also been used commercially as a means of producing bottled mineral water. Coming back to our question, recently Union Tribal Affairs Ministry has launched Thousand Springs Initiative. It is an online portal on GIS based spring atlas with hydrological and chemical properties of the springs. So it aims to providing or improving the access of safe and adequate water for the tribal communities living in a difficult and inaccessible part of rural areas in the country. So it will help in harnessing the potential of perennial springs water to address the natural scarcity of water in tribal areas. Spring Atlas is as we now saw, springs are natural sources of groundwater discharge and have been extensively used in mountainous regions. However, in central and eastern Indian belt with more than 75% tribal population, spring remains largely unrecognized and underutilized. So GIS based spring atlas has been developed to make these data easily accessible from an online platform. And presently, the data of more than 170 springs have been uploaded on the spring atlas. So that is it. We will now move to second question. Second question with reference to farmers producer organization FPO consider the following statement. Statement 1. It is an entity formed by primary producers which include farmers, milk producers, fishermen, weavers, rural artisans and craftsmen. And statement 2. It provides for sharing of profits or benefits among the members. And option 3. An FPO can be a producer company a cooperative society or any other legal form. Which of the above statements is are correct? Option A 1 and 3 only, Option B 3 only, Option C 2 only and Option D 1, 2 and 3. So the correct answer here is Option D 1, 2 and 3 all the above statements are correct. So guys let's see what is an FPO. In India 86% of individual holds below 2 hectares of land which occupy 47% of country's total cultivated area. The issue here is, for example, if a farmer got a land of 0.5 hectare, but it is in 5 to 10 plots, so the lands are fragmented and as we said, 86% of farmers are like this. So what happens is, they are scattered individual, they have no bargaining power or political influence in securing loans from scheduled banks, the production and productivity of these farms are generally low with limited marketable surplus and low realizations etc. 
so fpos are quite effective in addressing the above challenges it is like many small farmers are coming together and form an organization that collectively purchases inputs required by them and or they sell their produce so an fpo represents the power of aggregation the fpos in turn can remain informal groups or be registered societies or cooperatives or trust or companies the fpo also known as farmers producer company is an entity formed by primary producers this include farmers milk producers fishermen weavers rural artisans and craftsmen the participation organization and membership pattern of these companies are more or less similar to cooperatives but their day to day functioning and business models resemble those of professionally run private companies here the farmers are owners of this fpos so it is governed by farmers and administration is done by professional managers recently prime minister said they will launch 10000 fpos all over the country so guys it's time for our quiz question there is a farmer producer company fpc established by an agricultural engineer vilas shinde in 2011 and it has grown to become the largest fpc in india the company got membership of 8000 farmers and a turnover of 300 crore it has overtaken mahindra agri business to become india's largest grape exporting company and kishor biyani's future group has signed a mou with this fpc for direct sourcing of fruits and vegetables for its supermarket chain big bazaar so identify this company what is the name of this company so please post your answers in the comment section guys we will now move to last question for the day 2020 cd3 recently seen in the news is a option a asteroid option b satellite launch vehicle of nasa and option c electric vehicle technology and option d cyber warfare method so the correct answer here is option a it is an asteroid astronomers have observed a small object orbiting earth which they have dubbed a mini moon or planet second moon this was discovered by some astronomers at nasa it is actually an asteroid about the size of a car its diameter is about 1.9 to 3.5 meter and unlike our permanent moon the mini moon is temporary it will eventually break free of earth's orbit and go off on its own way the asteroid is occupying an area between mars and jupiter and that is asteroid belt or asteroid orbit and some asteroids cross the earth's orbit that is called near earth asteroid so when an asteroid orbit crosses earth's orbit it can sometimes be captured into the earth's orbit so this is what happened with 2020 cd3 it is now orbiting at a distance farther from earth and such an asteroid is called temporarily captured object tco and the orbit of such object is unstable they have to contend with the gravitational influence of our permanent moon as well as that of sun so that is about mini moon that's all for today guys please post your answer to the quiz question and your scores we will meet tomorrow with another set of questions thank you for watching